advisors and whatnot and hiding amongst these individuals was none other than his brother Vibhishan. And Rawan says, when the three brothers came into this world, Rawan wanted power, name and fame. And we the city and all the queens for the children and grandchildren. Mary, what do you think about this? Eh? This guy here eating my food, sleeping in my kingdom, his children I mining, peeing. Look how well dressed and well kept he is. As he never missed a meal in his life. I have done as wicked. All you think you're getting food on the table is the same wickedness. And one do what you think. He remains on the knees of a very humble and pious individual. Now I say, listen. You speak about Ram, 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 but you is a Ram too, you know. And I hope I don't get in trouble for this one. He said there are many kinds of Ram. There's Bal Ram in, Ra in Bhagavad Quran. There's Parshu Ram. We saw on the second day. There's Shri Ram we see on the field. And then there's something called Nimakaram. Eh? You eat my food. You sleep in my bed. And yet still, you call me wicked. If you must go, well then go, if the Lord is so great for you. He did not mind you and put you in this place and turn back down on the knees. And he remained for a while, he hold on now and he started to cry. He said, for the sake of the people, please. And this is where Rawan lose all the credibility. Rawan lift the foot and he hit Vibhishan one kick. And Vibhishan started to cry, he said, please brother. I will not come back to you. However, I beg of you, change your way as it also comes along. And the next time we see, that will come either to you or I. Get away. Go to your Lord who has been banished. Who can only eat roots and fruits and sleep on the ground. Let us see how great you will be now. Hari Ram, Like a Rakshas. And thirdly, you're still funny looking from yesterday, so hold up. And greater than myself for he wears the chandan on the back and he lives amongst demons and he is brave enough to chant your name Sri Ram say go and Uman Baba says you know this individual go and bring him and Uman Baba was so pleased he sees Vibhisha and he rushes forth he embraces the same made up high I know you will reach us one day he lift him up came inside came lift him up and came he looking tired oh oh <laughs> Weapons have been destroyed, homes have been destroyed, so if we have to do, we have to do now. But one jump up and say, Lord, let us cut down trees and build a bridge. He says, that will take too long. Some say, well, Lord, let us do like Vibhishan, where is Vibhishan? They call Vibhishan, the salvation come. How do you? Some say, Lord, Prabhu Padivara Bhalwana, he said, Lord, why don't you just dry the ocean? In your previous altar as Lord Vishnu, when you came, you dried the ocean by the touch of your feet. And all the water creatures, they started to cry and they grieve and they brought back the ocean. And Sri Ram said, listen, for the sake of so many lives to be sacrificed for Devi Sita, we cannot do that. For all lives matter, including all the plants and the animals. For it says, and this is science, if all of humanity die tomorrow, in 50 years time, the world is going to be a paradise. But if all the bugs die tomorrow, in two weeks time, all mankind die and everything die. Which one is more valuable? This is science. However, can we find a way not to destroy, but cross this ocean? And Jama one jumped up. Jama one said, Prabhu, I have a solution. And in that days, it might have sound strange, but he said, listen, there is two chaps amongst us, Null out Neil. They are celestial architects, meaning that they design together with the great gods and demigods, Vishwakarma. They built the heavenly region. 
When they took altar as children, they were very mischievous. So they used to take the murti, the lingam, the saligram, and they used to throw it in the water. And the sadhu used to come home and get vexed, but he did not want to destroy them. So he said, Nal, Neil, anything you touch, it is going to float, not sink. So they have the ability to build a bridge. They have the ability for it to float. Let us utilize this technology and this burden. Bhagwan said, well, I have an added bonus for the ocean I had went to go and asked for him to open, but so much lies with loss. He cannot open the ocean for 72 million monkeys to go through. However, he says for five days, there will be no high tide or low tide and to the minimum amount of movement. So we have five days. Can we build a bridge in five days? And I will tell you something. It is part of recorded history. If you go in India today, it is still there. However, in modern world, with so much technology, when you build a bridge in Trinidad today, tomorrow it have 10 potholes or it break down. And that has happened. Right there in India, right up. As for the architect of heaven, together with Vishwa Karma, they were born with this ability now. They were given what? String. They were uproot big trees, mountain peaks, the homes of demons. See, that's it not put it in our books and I say alien will average too. It is called the Adams Reef or the Adams Bridge. It is still there in India, but because they took it to be a game and they started to sing. They started to Whenever you hear Diwali, you will hear 
Govardhan Puja. One out of the many puja that must be done to Bhagwan. Please, please, please. Please, in Bhrigu. Indravan, you will teach Indra a lesson. And your name will be announced in our us with Diwali. And your a day will be given only in service to you. And the Lord also will carry your title. Govardhan Giri Thare.